Sendai. This is a trip that me and I took to Sendai and I'd like to show you some of the things that we saw. Here we reached at Sendai Station and uh, in the background you see Sendai Station with all of the shoring. That was because of uh, the earthquake damage to protect any more bricks from falling. Here we stopped at the uh, Red Cross, J Japanese Red Cross Society, and they had uh, all of the emergency worker locations and maps and uh, information about protective wear and things like that. And they had some images of the disaster, as you can see here, and uh, donation box and then on the outside uh, just down the street we can see uh, a memorial spot where they show many of the pictures of the tsunami and uh, lots of people come and have put down their flowers and stuff for you to uh, for the memorial there you see a ship on top of a building and uh, it was uh, quite an experience to see this roadside memorial and uh, right here we will see a map of Sendai this sign right here says Gamburu uh, Tohoku Gamburu Tohoku means together we can have success or together we can do it so what we have here is an old monument from the Sendai castle and uh, on the very top there was a large statue and if we look down here you can see the statues all broken down from the earthquake in pieces here at the base and that used to be up there in the top you can see it's broken up there so you can see over here this whole area is fenced off and portioned off because what we were told is that that area over there is a cliff side and because of the earthquake they're afraid that a mudslide will happen so uh, they've coordinated off so that nobody can go there and just in case the side of the hill falls down what we have here is the side of a ravine and you can see part of the cliff face fell from the uh, earthquake and you can see some of the trees are actually buried under the rubble now this here is a vista view of Sendai the city uh, it's a beautiful place it's called the for uh, the city of trees or the city of forests and way off in the background you can see uh, that's the area towards the sea or the uh, ocean and I'll show you that a little bit later um, this video is meant to show you the earthquake damage so damage uh, taken by the earthquake uh, what we see here is cracks in the roadway uh, that have started to be fixed. Uh, here's a showing the parting of the roads and um, this is an amusement park. It was open this week and one area of the amusement park slid off of the side of the mountain and this is a roller coaster um, that also broke in the earthquake. Uh, you can see the ground sunk by about four inches and um, 
the retaining walls. Uh, this is a roadway. Uh, those cracks in the road are about three inches wide all the way down to a point. Here's another retaining wall and the retaining wall uh, actually that picture there shows about two inches uh, how it bulged out um, the retaining bricks. This is a building that was severely damaged in the earthquake and it looks like the um, uh, balconies were about to break off. You can see some significant damage on this building. The cracks everywhere. Fence all broken up. Again, here's some more uh, images of the buildings and uh, how the area sunk and caused uh, a lot of cracking. Uh, but it's also a lot of from the shaking uh, sideways and sinking downwards. And you will find a lot of nets and shoring to protect from further bricks and debris from falling down. Here's a building within Sendai City and another building. Uh, these windows were about six stories up and fell down. Here's a protective base of a building and if we zoom up, you see the panes of glass have fallen out from the earthquake. Go all the way up and you can see it's the windows around the elevator shaft just fell from way up there. This is the walkway for the blind and uh, what they did here was they put down some temporary sheets so that the blind can make their way past the shoring from the earthquake. Now here I'm going to take you to the area near the water. Um, and this is a little bit north uh, of, of Sendai. It's protected by a lot of islands, so you won't see a lot of damage in this area, but you'll see a bunch. In the next video, I'll show you uh, Sendai, where it really got hit. Uh, and uh, this area is listed as one of the most beautiful sites in the world, but unfortunately it suffered a lot of damage and um, uh, as you can see here there's still a lot of debris in the water and uh, some of the uh, stone markers fell down uh, parts of the shrine fell down uh, but it is a very beautiful area this here is the harbor and the harbor was totally devastated. Here's a crack that is uh, very, very large. As you can see, I'm putting my hand there and it's uh, the width, uh, the length of my hand. Uh, and here again is uh, part of the retaining wall for the uh, port. Uh, and uh, they are repairing all of this area right now. It was just opened uh, during Golden Week. And uh, the waves just swept right through there. And it's a continual process of cleaning up. This is uh, the mud from the tsunami. And uh, this sign is a tsunami warning telling you to quickly run to high ground uh, or inland. And as you can see, there's still a lot of garbage that needs to be picked up. You can see the water coming through the cement because it's high tide. Water is pretty high today. 
this is uh, more of the damage from the earthquake. Now I'm going to show you some of the shops and the shops were uh, destroyed uh, very badly. Uh, one lady just cleaned off her little cell phone tags and started selling them and uh, you can smell the mud and, and the dirt within there uh, strongly and um, uh, I encourage anybody to go and buy things there because the people uh, their businesses have been totally destroyed and closed down I took a boat along the shoreline and here we can see uh, some shipping crates or containers uh, all over in the water and as we went along the shoreline uh, we saw boats, containers and all kinds of debris deposited in the ocean and uh, over here we can see a an area where people were living and uh, it was hit pretty hard by the tsunami as you can see it actually broke the seawall down and the houses were uh, broken uh, pushed to the side and demolished by the waves coming in and if you can imagine this is on the western side of the islands and imagine the waves coming from the east or the opposite side of the island so it would have come around the little islands and wiped them out that way and one interesting thing that we'll see is a house and inside the house we'll see all the handprints of the family and written right here in this picture you can see in Japanese Gambaru and Gambaru again means together we can do it or together we can have success uh, uh, we can do it uh, but only together and uh, here we can see some more of the earthquake damage uh, and some boats that uh, were just deposited along the river so thank you for watching my video You can see this whole area sunk. The tide actually comes all the way up to the uh, walkway.